Yo, what's up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media. So today I've got a really quick tutorial for you of how to remove a shadow that's cast when you take a photograph or a portrait of somebody or a subject and it casts a shadow on the background. I'll show you a quick and easy way to remove that shadow using Adobe's Photoshop. I'll also show you how to change the background without affecting the subject so you can make the background a bit darker or brighter to make your photo look a bit better and more professional. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to this tutorial of removing the shadow from a photograph. So thank you to my lovely wife who agreed to let me use one of her photos to use for this demonstration. To get started, the first thing you want to do on the right hand side, you see the main photo here, it's called the background. Right click on that and create a duplicate layer. You can name it whatever you like and click OK. So we're going to be working off this background copy that we've created now, not off the original. First thing you want to do is get your subject selected. Selected. So the easiest way to do this in Photoshop, go ahead up here on the top left, find the select option and click on subject. And Photoshop will do its magic now and it's pretty good at detecting where the subject is. So as you can see here, it's selected the subject kind of perfectly. If you do find that it doesn't select it really well and that it's missing some parts, like for example over here, what you can do is go and click on select then select and mask. And what this will do, it will open up this kind of new working area where you can change the view of the selected part. So I like to work with this overlay. It shows you kind of in red what hasn't been selected and what has been selected. So it's easy to spot. And then over here now we can kind of zoom in on what we think was missed out. So for example, over here, I can see there's a tiny portion that's been missed out. It didn't select some of the hair over here, but I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm just going to make sure that this brush tool is selected and over here I'm going to go ahead and click the minus button so what we want to do we want to take away from the selection so you can control your brush size by changing it over here the size of the brush but I think this is a good size so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of the selection to the part I think it missed if you wanted to include the hair you could do that by hitting the plus button and then selecting whatever you feel it has missed out or left out to undo its control Z on the Windows keyboard so I'm happy with that part I'm just going to now hit OK and once you've hit OK to screen and you've got your perfect selection that it has made. All right so now that we've got our selection what you want to do is go to the select option again so go to select and then you want to find the option that says inverse so hit inverse and what that does is it that deselects the subject but it selects the background and everything in the background including that shadow that we're trying to get rid of in this tutorial. So we've got everything else selected now what you want to do is go down here to this option that says add a layer mask go ahead and click on that and as you can see it creates a layer mask from our selection but now we don't want to work with this mask specifically so make sure this is now really important to go here and select your main photo again on the background copy so don't work on this layer mask work on the photo the background copy of the actual photo so now that we've got that part done what we want to do is select the lasso tool it's over here on the left there you go the lasso tool Tool. go ahead and click on that and we're going to make a selection or a lasso around the shadow now this part isn't tricky at all because it doesn't have to be accurate so what you can do is just kind of freehand or draw a lasso around the shadow itself so what we're going to do is just go all the way where the shadow was and kind of come up here and there we go we're just creating a selection around the shadow now that we've done that you can see it's got the selected part around the shadow we want to right click on this with our mouse button and then go ahead and choose the fill option so if you choose fill this little box will show up and you'll see here you've got a thing called contents something called content aware you need to make sure that's enabled so don't have any of the other options set make sure it's on content aware the color adaptation can be selected and the blending mode to normal opacity 100 you can leave that unchecked once you've done that go ahead and click ok and now photoshop's going to do its magic and it's going to fill the shadow in for us and there you go the shadow is gone just like that super easy so go ahead and click on select again and then 
deselect. So now we've deselected the selection that we've made and the shadow is completely gone from our subject. So that's part one of the tutorial, how to remove a shadow and it's that easy to get rid of it. Now I'll show you a second part which is really cool and it's really useful if you're doing portraits such as this one. If you want to change the background up a little bit, make it maybe more interesting so that it looks like a portrait shot, I will show you how to change just the background without affecting your subject. What we want to do is click on the background picture, the main picture over here. So we're going to use the select option again to select our subject and go ahead and click on select and then subject. So once again, we're repeating the process of selecting our subject. Do I need to go fix the hair here a little bit? Maybe I should just to make it look really good. So select and mask once again and then zoom in. Zoom in on the part you want to select. Then I'm going to select the paintbrush minus and I'm just going to get rid of this light area over here. There we go, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to hit on OK and then just fit to screen. So we've got our selection made. So what we want to do now is click on this one of these selection options and then right click. And then when this box shows up, you want to create a layer via copy. So click on that and what that does over here, you can see it created a new layer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this layer by holding down my left mouse button and move it all the way to the top so that that's the layer that's visible in the front. So if I had to switch off all the other background layers, you can see that's the only layer that we've copied over over here. Now I'm going to enable all the other photos as well so we can see the effects of all of it. So now go ahead and select the middle layer this is the one we want to work with and click on adjustments now the first thing i'm going to do to make this look more interesting i'm going to add a black and white adjustment so if i click on black and white you might not be able to see it so much here because the curtain was silver behind the subject but it has created a black and white color behind my subject second thing i want to do is go to adjustment and then i'm going to look for something that says exposure so i saw it over here so if i select exposure what i can do now is drop the exposure a bit to make the background a little bit darker and that already looks more cool it looks more professional and i'm going to do one more thing go ahead and click on adjustments and find the brightness and contrast so select brightness and contrast and over here if you don't want the background to be sharp so that you can kind of see it's a curtain you can go ahead and decrease the contrast and over here you can either increase or decrease the brightness however you feel the background looks best so i think it looks pretty good when it's a little bit darker so that the subject is really visible and that that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to change the background and remove the shadow from a subject in Photoshop 2022. So you can now go ahead and export your file. So click file and export and then save it as whatever you like. And then you're going to have your picture ready. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something new. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it does help you out. As always, do give me a thumbs up if you did and do subscribe to this channel for much more content to come in the future. So thanks for watching and stay safe, take care and goodbye.